Bro, there's 150,000 people watching this right now. That is insane. After all these years, we never talked about it. Why I brought you back. Why you were chosen. Why? Tell me why. Yo, this is cool. The truth is, I didn't know them. He was training us? Don't tell me he was training us this whole time. It was just a feeling. This looks really good. Where's the movie at? But I know now. After all we've seen. All we've lost. This fight. Might be our last. Nah, it's not our last. So I'm asking you, Strand, one last time to rise. Bro, they're doing, they're doing such an amazing job. That was awesome. Become legend. We're gonna show more, right? There has to be more. This is a momentous time in Destiny history. And we've been building to this moment for the last 10 years. The final shape is the conclusion to that journey. This is a moment in gaming that as a developer, you just That's what don't I just get said. very often. Guardians and allies are fighting the biggest threat that the universe has ever seen in this big culmination of the Light and Darkness saga. When we were thinking of what the final shape could be, it had to be a lot of different things. It needs to pay off this epic confrontation with the witness that we've been setting up for years. You it see? has to bring you closer to your allies in the vanguard. It you has see? to be this place that like, has to, makes bro. you feel nostalgic for the entire journey you've been on. It has to be this when big we everything. we were resurrected by ghosts at the very beginning of this story, we didn't know why, but it was for this. The traveler is asking us for help and it's our responsibility to protect every living thing in the universe from what the witness intends to do. When we first start the final shape, we are finally able to go through the portal that the witness opened in the Traveler at the end of Lightfall. Inside is the pale heart of the Traveler. That is the stage for our showdown with the witness. The Witness has the darkness. It has always had a connection to it. The Pale Heart of the Traveler is what it's trying to use to gain connection to the light. So with both, it can enact its final shape. Mm. The Witness looks around and sees a lack of purpose, no meaning. It wants to fix all that. So it's trying to put the universe into this frozen perfection where everything's just exactly how it thinks it's supposed to be. That is the final shape. Mm. If we're going to defeat the witness, it's going to take everyone. Failure is not an option. We're going to need the Vanguard, all of our allies, and all the Guardians to rally together and be brave in the face of oblivion. In the final shape, we're going to answer questions at the grandest scale. But what I find really interesting is that it's also a very personal journey where we deepen our relationships with these characters that we've known for so long. Zavala, Ikora, our ghost, get to reconnect with Cade Six. New super? So, like, while there's this man, great conflict man and everything away. going on around us and stakes of just unimaginable heights, it's still at the end a story told around campfires by a bunch of companions who have been fighting together for hundreds of years. Wait, fighting together for hundreds of years? It was 10 years, well, at least for this story, yeah. 
In the final shape, we're going footage. through the portal that the witness has opened up to confront it and stop the final shape. Inside the Traveler is this infinite, vast, unknowable Edward landing on the Pale Heart, which is a fraction of really what is inside the Traveler. Wait, they were walking the inside the Traveler of Walter last gear? Weird. It's a little strange. It makes you feel a bit uncomfortable. And it is also just so cool. Why are they in Vault of Glass the gear way. with this footage? The witness entered well ahead of any guardians. And so it's had time to kind of shape what's there. When our guardian Why enters, are they in Vault the of Glass gear? Of the pale heart starts getting shaped also around what we've experienced. How old this is, is this the footage? traveler recreating the world in front of you as it saw on your journey? One of the most memorable mm. localities from Destiny's past is the D1 Tower. It's really a labor of love from the Destiny team. The final shape means so much to everyone who's building it, and I think players are really going to be able to see that. The Pale Heart is our very first linear destination that we've ever done. I would love it if players felt that they began their journey in a place of safety and feel it escalate in danger, in surrealness. It was like Destiny 1. There is this beautiful evolution of the space. They get like D1 vibes, to be honest. More and more wrong as they begin to go towards the Witnesses monolith. It's kind of this omnipresent, foreboding thing off in the distance. The weirdest things happen as you get closer to the monolith in the form of reshaping. Kind of like deconstructing things and putting them back together. Just wrong. The sense of scale you get out there, like as you're exploring these spaces and you're jumping on these reshaped cuboids of Earth, you feel tiny as a That's guardian. Cool. You feel alone. You feel like you are not the force to be reckoned with that you have been. You're not the god slayer right now. You're just this little person jumping from these massive pieces to massive pieces. One of the things that we really tried to also capture is that the witness keeps throwing everything it has at you. And so you're going to fight these new enemies, the subjugators. New enemies! Subjugators Finally! In the final well, they look like. They look like. Well, not they really. They're different. Power set. They're different. They're performing stasis powers and strand powers to face the guardian. Well, let's go. All the other enemies you're fighting too. They bring something entirely new to the battlefield, which is kind of finally control. They're back there pinging away with stasis abilities, throwing crystals at you, freezing you in place, Ooh. tangling you up. Hey, they're coming for you, oven. They're gonna freeze you with stasis. That's cool. Finally, new enemies. I mean, it's just one. On I'm gonna do one thing, but the still. Campaign and only the campaign. It's the most important thing in the universe at that moment. You have to stop the final shape from happening. And for that, we do need the help with our allies. And so we're going to make sure that the core Vanguard team gets back together. Zavala and Ikora and Kate. <laughs> the campaign is just the start of the Pale Heart. After you've reached the monolith and finished the campaign, we open up the entire destination. And so the entire Pale Heart is going to react to you and what you are doing. Hmm. The campaign in the final shape doesn't really end with the final mission. The raids are where you defeat like the big bosses. So it's only natural that when you are going to confront the witness, you're going to do that in the raid. But that might not be enough. Wait, what? There's this is more? a moment where we need to rally all guardians to be able to overcome the final shape and the witness. So after the raid, you're saying there's more? Is that what she is that what she just said? She just say that, but like in, in different English than my in the English? Final shape, we are inside the traveler. Very close to this energy. This allows us to have this is the sound effect guy. He's gonna make some noises, solar. watch. Void. We want to create Something Some that sound effects are inbound. <laughs> but also 
can benefit your Some allies psh, in the support watch. capacity. There is this thread of team play and like working with your friends to overcome the odds. It's coming, it's happening, I promise. The Warlock Super is its ultimate is happening when he's talking about the Super Watch. Coursing through your Guardian. This Solar Warlock Super is a callback to Radiance from D1. Other than Golden Gun, this is the only other first person super in Destiny right now. Your melees. I know! Like all of these, these projectiles going off, doubling the amount of projectiles. Mm -hmm. Your grenade almost being sentient as it searches around and then it hits a character and bounces off and goes to another one. And you're so overflowing the sound with this energy that you are also giving it to your allies allowing them to have <laughs> their solar weapons supercharged <laughs> applying scorch when they're shooting the new solar warlock Damn, aspect, just one time my rift mm -hmm. it is going to create this little solar soul that when it sees an enemy it launches part of itself out and hits the enemy and explodes and scorches them it just feels very alive it's cool it's like arc souls but fire souls twilight Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a layered super. This is the only ranged one-off offensive super for Titans in the game. The Titan jumps up into the air, summons this giant void axe, throws it, summons another one, throws it, summons another one, looks at a different group of enemies, throws it. And when these axes fly, we through have range super the ground or an enemy do their void gravity thing where they another one, but it's like the solar in one in a way. Explode. But that doesn't destroy the axe. The axe sticks around and you and your allies can go and pick up that axe and start wailing on enemies with it. This super is insane to me. The void Titan aspect. I press and hold my grenade button to consume my grenade and turn it into the shield. The more damage it takes, the more it charges up and then I can release that and it creates this blast that deals massive damage. No! Oh, that is awesome. The Hunter Arc Super. It's arc awesome for Destiny. the shortest distance between two points. The Hunter kind of rears back, takes this knife and throws it across the world and then is able to blink to its position PvP. flash that just decimates anyone nearby. Yo, that is insane in PvP. Is not just but is that a super he just said? But you're able to do that is an ability. Three times, along oh, no, it's a super. Along with attacks each like, time Oh my it. god. The hunter has an aspect. We take our staff, we twirl it in the air, which propels us upward. It creates this burst, which amplifies you and any allies near you. It almost makes it feel like you're playing a fighting game, right? Like these combos that you're chaining together to do these different moves, it, it like, takes that that sandbox to the next level the more aspects we have the more capable we are to do that it feels like you're like riding the lightning you know like that instantaneous like that was good but i think it's more like <laughs> they're doing the sound effects you now know, i like it i like it i called it though i called it i did call it <laughs>